lovely rice cake chinese style sweet rice cake come on into jenny's walk and let's see how to make this divine little dessert together that could add a lot of attention to your dinner table for your guests so come on in let's see how to make this lovely chinese rice cake at jenny's walk hi foodies welcome to my kitchen this is jenny here from jenny's walk so foodies today i want to show you a quick and easy dessert Summer is right around the corner. This is so quick and easy to put together for the kids, for yourself, for any little potluck, any little barbecue you have it. It's awesome. It's a Chinese rice cake. It's a nice, sweet, slightly tangy tasting cake. I love it. It is one of my favorite recipe to go when you see I have a nice potluck on the job. This is something I would make. It, it's very exciting. And a lot of people don't know about it because they're like, what is this, Miss Pagan? What is this you make here? I love it. I can't have enough of it. It could go with a nice little filling too. So let's get together and see what we need to put this lovely Chinese rice cake together. So here in my bowl, I have one cup of rice flour. This is what your rice flour package would look like. Here in the US, you will get it at the Korean store. It's very inexpensive. So that's my rice flour there. And we're going to be needing... We're going to be using half a teaspoonful of instant yeast and three tablespoonful of water. Here I have it already proof. You put those together and proof it. And for this one cup of rice flour is one cup of warm water and half a cup of sugar that I already went ahead and I dissolve it. Warm the water and just dissolve it completely. Now let it remain at a nice warm temperature also. And I'm going to be adding some saffron treads. Now there's a big difference with turmeric and saffron and haldi. Haldi or turmeric is something different. This is saffron treads for my, my viewers in the island. And uh, for my viewers who don't know what is saffron, they get mixed up with saffron and turmeric thinking it's the same thing. No, it's not. This is a tread. Here you go, as you can see, this is not a powder. So this is this can be used in sweet and savory. So we're going to be using this in the in the ending part of it. That is all we need for this, my dear foodies. So let's get baking now. So don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe with your friends and family and all your new food groups that you're in, your favorite food groups, all of them just add it on. So here we're going to add the water. Nice and slow, we're going to add it to the rice the rice flour a little at a time but we want everybody in there you go beautiful give it a good mix in the bowl now you need a, a bowl with a cover or if you have that cling wrap you could use that also now we don't want any lump so give it a good mix just like so you see how quickly it dissolves rice flour also my dear foodies is a thickening agent you know we here at jenny's walk to learn and share so i like to teach my foodies my audience you all know who join in and who knows jenny's walk you know i like to teach so and share all my methods and tips with you so this right here is a thickening agent so if you use cold water and rice flour you could use it to thicken up any of your sauces stews and all of that so now that is all done, as you can see, let me show to you. You see that foodies? There's no lump. This is just bubbles you've seen in here. So this is really good. So now we're gonna add our yeast. You put your yeast in your warm water and let it proof for like three, four minutes, five minutes. It will just proof. Just put it in there. Now you add your yeast in there. Let me get all of them out. There you go, lovely. Instant yeast is the best. For this recipe, that is. But I still proof my instant yeast. And just give it a gentle stir. You're not going to go too vigorous on this one. Give it a gentle stir. That is good enough. Nothing else you're going to do. But what I would like to add to mine is just like a half a drop if I can, if I can make it. Of that cinnamon oil so you know the cherry here this is cinnamon bark oil you could see that there my foodies you don't want any powder in here because it's just going to come to the top so gently take your time it comes out so quickly there you go lovely just a little touch of that and here i have a little bit of um fireball a little scotch whiskey just for a little taste 
put that in there because there's nothing to this recipe that is all it is just give it a nice little mix you could feel the heaviness and the thickness already coming in let's get that cinnamon in there isn't that lovely that is all to this recipe my dear foodie the only thing the tedious part is we have to leave this to proof in this bowl for like two to three hours or until you see it rise and get nice and foamy now you could cheat if you have a nice warm you know those warm blankets you could just plug it on or a hot pack and put it in the bottom or zap a nice tea towel wet it saturate it well squeeze the heavy water out zap it in the microwave for about a minute and a half and you could put it under the bowl that's cheating right there and it would help prove the ease and get everything up to a nice rise but i have a lot of time on my hands today so lid on and i'm going to leave this in for two to three hours i think like two hours two and a half hours should be fine so just leave this in a warm area a warm place in the kitchen and we will be back so my dear foodies let's take a look now in that bowl lovely this looks really nice nice little bubble tick bubble you see at the top just give it a little stir and now we're going to empty it into our bowl so here i have my dish i just pass some oil on it all around and i'm going to empty i'm just going to strain it out a little bit get all of them in there just like so doesn't that look good let me just scrape all of them out there's a lot of goodness in here take your spatula and get all of them in all your butter in lovely Japanese rice cake nice sweet chewy tangy awesome there you go just like so from the bottom of the rice strainer now that looks marvelous now we want to add some of that saffron treads remember saffron treads can be used in sweet and savory dishes so we're just going to gently place them all around and once it start getting warm it's going to release a nice beautiful flavor it's flavor and color so you will get a tinge of orange color it has a nice earthy taste there's no substitute for saffron treads none at all the taste is to die for and it's the most expensive spice in the world so I have my steamer already on for that water to be boiling and we're going to put it in the steamer cover it and leave it in there for like 10 to 15 minutes so this is what it looked like really nice and i'm going to put it now into the steamer so here is the steamer all bubbling away really angry bubble so i'm going to put it into a medium heat you're not going to cover this with any foil or anything like that and you're just going to put your lid on i'm using my clay pot as a steamer and we're going to go for medium and we're going to leave this now for like 10 to 15 minutes on medium heat so don't forget to like and share this lovely video with your friends and family and all those new food groups that you're in. Share them so we all can enjoy this lovely recipe. Okay, foodies, let's take a look inside and see what's going on. Open up the clay pot. There you go. The steam is all coming out. And as you can see, it's still bubbling, a nice gentle bubble. It's boiling. And let's take a little look. I'm going to just check it. Let's stick it in, take it out it's very much clean as you can see so this is done so what i'm going to do i'm just going to turn the fire off and we have to let this completely cool before we cut it before we cut into it all that steam going on there lovely japanese sweet and tangy rice cake so here you go my foodies our japanese rice cake is all done it's all cool really nicely so i want to take this out now so all you have to do is just loose the sides it's loose to sides give it a good little pack just like so and there you go it doesn't that look marvelous now i'm going to cut into it so cutting into it just wet your knife and you could cut it down in slices just like so nice little slice 
wet that knife up really lovely again another slice and you see that saffron treads in there it's going to give it a lovely taste when you bite into it wonderful just like so so now i want to cut a piece of this and show to you how marvelous it is there you go you see the texture how firm and nice it is mmm really nice look at that a nice chewy a sweet and a nice earthy taste you get mmm from the saffron shred it's sweet not overpoweringly sweet very nice mild sweetness and I get that cardamom that cardamom that cinnamon taste a little cinnamon taste running in there it's really lovely so again foodies a lovely recipe here from jenny's walk simple and delicious it's divine you could make this for any a potluck as i say it's, it's summertime now the kids are home they're always home since the pandemic this is a lovely idea that you can make and you can even put some like guava sauce over it or any fruit sauce you have you could put it onto it and it would be a lovely dessert there on your table so fascinate your guests come on into jenny's walk and learn and don't forget to share this lovely video to your new food groups that you're in your friends family and neighbor so thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking